Missy. So we just went down to the bakery. It's currently like six in the morning. I woke up at four because of the jet lag. I mean, I went to bed at seven and I was just, like dying. I was a zombie when I was editing like, yesterday's video. They got so, snails. We got no, no, we did. But we will be getting snails soon. We're going to the Somme today, so that's I'm, pretty exciting. I'm gonna be doing a guest vlog soon. Yeah, she's so gonna I'm do a vlog takeover. It's like yeah. Anyway, like, um, yeah, it's gonna be a good day. Hopefully today we're a bit yeah. less zombie-like. Yeah, and we're awake. And I'll see you later. Have a good one. We're rebels, aren't we, Lani? Yep, we're rebels. You're right. Oh my. Oh my. What? You're right, you're breaking the rules. Fine. Yeah, take a picture of Lani breaking the rules. Come here. Come here. Woo! If you're mm. bored with Huey's channel, go on to mm. Lane Loves. Lane Loves, YouTube, check it out. Oh, right in the puddle. Oh no. I'm gonna get beaten up now. You beat me up now. Oh, oh, oh. See, that's why they say it's not for seven year olds because you're too tall. <laughs> you're too tall now that you're eight. That's going in the video. No, you're eight, you're too tall. So you can see the, the base of the shell there, it's gone through the brickwork, it's embedded itself in the soft chalk, and for whatever reason it hasn't gone off. Now I don't know what it will take to make that go off, but the French have got kind of a different attitude, you know, been there since 1918, what's the problem? <laughs> but there was talk about having that shell removed, and I said, well please, if you're going to remove it, do it by all means for safety, but cut the bottom off an old shell and replace it so that we can still tell the story, but mm -hmm. it's important. Even now, a hundred years after the, the war, uh, there are still shells, grenades, mortars being dragged up when the farmers play the fields. Uh, and often when they're doing building works or road works, they often still find bodies. Uh, just about four weeks ago, 17 British soldiers were found at a place called Langemark. Uh, they're digging a gas main across the field and before they do any engineering works like that, they send the archaeologists in first so that they can check it out all out. And they've uncovered 17 British soldiers. Mm -hmm. That'll be for, for about 1915. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can see how this would offer protection mm -hmm. to the guys. If we'd been here on the night of the 31st of August, this whole area here would have been covered with Australian soldiers tucked up against the wall. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, any fire from above, it's going to go up beyond them. Mm. Yeah. They didn't come and do that, the Germans? No, yeah, no, yeah, because of course, whilst you've got a number of soldiers sheltering down here and tucked into the wall, you've also have a number on top of the wall dug in uh, because the ground level's similar to the height of the wall. So digging along the top of the wall, you have a few lads in advance just keeping an eye on things. Wow. Uh, also, this was the, the, the principal road at the time. Between this, well, behind what was a line of houses here, there was a deep culvert, and the guys were also got themselves into that culvert. Mm -hmm. That's the memorial that the Germans didn't like. And they took it down. And they, they took it down. Mm. We're a little bit too kind of uh, <laughs> close to home, right? Bit offensive. We would have had to run up here. And then up to the hill up there where the unexploded bomb is. It's pretty amazing, eh? 
God, wouldn't you love that? Nearly four. Tea, yeah, six.